What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another banger video and in today's video I'm going to be kind of going over I'd say like the dynamic duo for uh, fishing rods and reels and that kind of thing but I I'm feeling I'm feeling a little hungry and I'm feeling like a smoothie so I I'm going to take I'm going to take a little break right now and we're going to go get a smoothie from Smoothie King just I've, I've got that feeling I don't know. I just want a smoothie, so you guys come along, and uh, I'm gonna go get a smoothie, and then we'll come back and we'll finish this video. Alrighty, guys. Well, we just got in the old old blue. There we go. We're about to get ready to start. No phones. Got to put those up and away. And uh, we're gonna go get a smoothie because I just I had the urge. I was just kind of feeling. I don't really know what, but I was just feeling like a smoothie, and so that's what we're going to go do. So I will catch you guys at the smoothie place because it is not safe for me to drive and film at the same time. So I will catch you guys there. Alrighty, fellas. Well, I just got my, uh, got started up. Just got the uh, Smoothie King right there. Let's see if I can, can I turn this off? Maybe not. Okay, we'll just turn this down. Still don't know how to operate my own car at the moment. Um, but, Strawberry Kiwi Breeze. If you guys haven't tried out the Trop, the uh, Smoothie King Strawberry Kiwi Breeze, definitely check it out. This is my favorite smoothie flavor that they have that they make on their menu. It's super good. I don't know what's in it. Um, I couldn't tell you, uh, but it's really good. So, try it out. But, got this now head home and uh, we're gonna finish up today's video all right you guys we're back here and my room behind me obviously and uh, got my smoothie it was great but now that we're we're satisfied with our hunger and everything we're gonna dive into what the what today's video is really about the whole beginning smoothie thing was Obviously, I wanted a smoothie, but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about, like I said, the dynamic duo, I guess you could say, of fishing rod and reel combos. And uh, what I, I say is this is specifically towards beginner fishermen. Um, or I also use this, this kind of rod and reel setup combo together, this duo together, um, whenever I'm pond fishing and all. Uh, I'll bring one spinning rod and one bait casting rod and between those two rods you can throw a you can throw a very wide range of techniques and tackle and baits and everything um, in bass fishing on these two rods and, uh, and so I'm going to kind of go over them today um, and kind of like what I would I would use for them um, in this duo but if you're a beginner fisherman <coughs> and you, you're wanting to get into fishing the whole rod and reel game, um, this is at least have both of these rods. And if you take these rods and reel combos and you put them in your car and you go fishing um, you'll, and you put on baits, obviously, you'll, you'll definitely catch some fish. So um, this one right here, this is the 13 Fishing Defy Black um, 7-1 Medium. And uh, with a 13 fishing origin, no, no, no. This is a Source X right here. This reel, it's a super good reel for the price. It's only 40 bucks. Um, and then the line is 15 pound Power Pro grade, I believe. I'm not completely sure, but I know it's around 15 to 20 pounds. Um, and so the line is perfect. Um, if you're throwing some little, right now I've got a little, uh, little deadly Nedley on there, a little Ned rig right there. And uh, if you're throwing this around some grass or a drop shot with a little leader um, or a wacky rig along some grass edges and grass weed beds and everything, this rod and reel would be perfect. Um, like I said, you could throw drop shots, Ned rigs, uh, shaky heads. You could throw, I've, I've thrown whenever I've done my micro fishing lure challenges, I always throw them on here. Um, what else? You could throw some small Texas rigs. Um, like I said, shaky heads, uh, 
yeah, you could throw some top water uh, lures on here, like some small poppers and stuff. So it's a very versatile rod and reel, um, and you can use it a lot. I use it a lot for either finesse applications or uh, light baits. Like I said, uh, the light top water baits um, and light Texas rigs and that kind of stuff. But you're going to need something to get in the dirty stuff. <coughs> And uh, get you out of get fish out of that too, and so you're gonna need something thicker um, and more more tougher and heavier duty, I guess you could say. Um, what I use for that, this is the 13 fishing Defy Black. This is the exact same rod and reel combo, I would say, as the spinning rod. Uh, but this is a seven foot three inch medium heavy, and so you've got that stiffness. Um, and a medium heavy is perfect. You can throw frogs on here, you can throw crankbaits, you can throw Texas rigs, you can throw jigs, you can throw spinner baits, chatter baits, uh, sh shaky heads, um, maybe some heavier if you wanted to. You could throw a wacky rig on here. I don't recommend it, but you could. Um, but it's a very versatile rod and reel combo when it comes to heavier style fishing or heavier duty fishing lures, I guess if that makes any sense. Um, like right here I've got a, uh, an imitator baits jig on here in a natural color and uh, it works great. <coughs> uh, but the 7 foot 3 inch, why well, I would say a 7 foot 3 and not the 7 foot 1 inch, 7 foot 1 is the same as the spinning rod but with these you can cast with a 7 foot 3 inch you can cast just a tad bit farther, not a whole lot but you can you can definitely reach a little bit farther out which is better when you're talking about frog fishing and uh, topwater fishing when you need to cover a wide range and maybe you're on the bank of a, a big pond or whatever and they're schooling out out there um, you, you can use this rod to cast your topwater out just a tad bit farther um, and the reel that I've got with this is the 13 Fishing Origin A you guys have heard me talk about this combo a whole lot um, and uh, this is an 8 1 to 1 gear ratio reel um, and then uh, the line is I believe 15 or 17 pound uh, fluorocarbon so um, I normally have a lot of the braid on these rods uh, but this winter because there's no grass in the winter really um, I picked uh, fluorocarbon so then it's, it's a little bit more clear and it doesn't uh, give off sun, sun rays or whatever it's translucent in the water um, like, like it doesn't give off sun whatever like sun rays, I don't, I don't know um, so th those are kinda like the dynamic duo I would say in my opinion uh, for the for the type of fishing that I do and the type of fishing that I know a lot of you guys do as well fishing some ponds some lakes local lakes and that kind of thing off John boats and that kind of stuff um, but if you take these two rod and reel combos or you have you don't have to have these brands but if you have a 7 foot medium heavy and a 7 foot medium spinning rod and you pair them up with some good lures some good reels some good line and you're targeting the right areas you'll definitely catch some fish. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, thank you guys for going along with me to, uh, to Smoothie King. And uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching and uh, I will catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace guys.